People say, dogs are a man best friend. This story proves just how true that is. They receive unwavering love, devoted company, and non-stop amusement from dogs. The majority of dog lovers are aware that having a dog improves life. Spending time with canine companions does wonders for your well-being. Dogs make us happier, healthier, and help us cope with a crisis. Even dogs can always be there for you, even when people can't. This video will examine how even a dog could protect its owner's life. The reason why this dog stunned everyone by preventing people from turning off his owner's life support may make you cry. However, before we discuss it, if you're a new subscriber to our channel, we would appreciate a like and a thumbs up so that more people may enjoy this. In the canine unit, Michael had served as a police officer. He had spent his entire life handling and training one of the police department's dogs. He worked with many dogs throughout his career, but one in particular, a German shepherd named Zeus, with whom he developed an exceptional bond. When Michael decided to leave the police service, the former police officer couldn't handle going without Zeus, who was only a year old. He asked his supervisor if there was any chance he could take Zeus with him into retirement, because he thought of the dog as a member of his family. Thankfully, the man's boss agreed and permitted him to do so. Despite his intimidating moniker, Zeus was kind, submissive dog who loved spending time with his owner. He always chose to cuddle, to play fighting. The dog had been trained as a police dog, which meant he knew how to attack, should the situation require it. At first, Michael's wife and kids were hesitant about letting the dog into their home, but he reassured them and said that he had trained the canine himself and would not harm anyone. The family rapidly adapted to the dog as he settled into the new home and he quickly became another adored family member. But then something happened that caused Zeus to alter his behavior drastically. By this point, the dog had been there for a few years, when he was about three years old and had fully grown into an adult. The day began as any other day would have. Zeus and Michael went into the morning run, returned to the house for breakfast, and Michael noted that the roof needed some attention, because it was beginning to look a little worn down after breakfast. As he started to scale the house's roof, Michael gathered the necessary items to repair it. At this time, Zeus began to act strangely. The dog started to growl and whimper and even tried to grab Michael's pant legs to convince him to stay on the ground. Since he wasn't letting the man work, Michael called his wife and urged her to keep the dog inside. As directed, Michael's wife brought the dog inside. Even when the family heard the horrific scream from the front garden, less than five minutes later, he still tried to resist the entry way into the house. Oh, but Zeus, trapped in the kitchen, hurriedly left the house. But what they discovered outside astonished them. Michael was the only person on the grass in front of the garden. He had smashed his head on the ground after tripping and falling from the roof. Michael's wife started to sob as she grabbed and yelled for him. When the man did not respond while she was doing that, their children called for an ambulance from the emergency service. Michael was then brought to the hospital and put into critical care while undergoing through scans to determine the extent of his injuries. When Michael's wife told the doctors that he had hit his head on the ground forcefully, they were concerned that it might have caused irreparable damage, and their fears were soon realized. Although the doctors discovered a few scraps and bruises, including a broken arm, they were more concerned about Michael's head. After spending some time in the hospital, after Michael fell into a coma and nothing appeared to help, his family decided to take him home and hire a nurse to keep an eye on him. They reasoned that being in a familiar setting could help the guy wake up. When he returned home, the dog was the first person by Michael's side. Zeus had been sobbing for days, since his owner was nowhere to be found. Two years passed, and there was still no sign that Michael was ever going to wake up. So the cost of keeping him on, the dog rapidly made himself at home at the end of Michael's bed and almost never left the area. Safe to be fed or to relieve himself outside, Zeus was the only person who stayed by the man's side the entire time, as the cost of the incubator and having a nurse take care of him quickly started to build up, and his family started to despair over what they should do. When a doctor went to check on Michael one day, he immediately noticed something peculiar about the patient. After performing a few more examinations, the doctor discovered that Michael could still feel his surroundings, even though he could not move or talk. At this point, the doctor advised the family that it might be best if he was mercifully put to sleep to relieve both Michael's suffering and their own. 
The discovery saddened Michael's wife, who was at a loss for what to do. She had intended to spend the rest of her days with Michael because it was the love of her life. Sadly, she agreed with the doctor's recommendation of euthanasia and acknowledged the possibility that the man would benefit from being let die. The only issue was that Michael would need to be brought to the hospital to complete the process. The physician informed Michael's wife that he would send a team out the following day to transport the patient to the hospital. Zeus sat in the corner during this time and appeared to be listening to everything said. When the paramedics came to get Michael the next day, something strange happened. As they entered Michael's room, Zeus started to growl and bark at them. He also bared his teeth and threatened to bite them if they tried to get closer. The paramedics were so afraid of the dog that they wouldn't go inside of the room until it was cleared. Zeus began to pull on his leash as soon as Michael's daughter entered the room and forcibly removed him, taking him outside so he couldn't hurt anyone. The paramedics loaded Michael into the ambulance as soon as the dog was out and drove off to the hospital. As the dog watched the ambulance leave, Zeus started to pull on his leash again. Michael's wife started to wonder whether the dog was trying to tell her something after seeing how worked up he was when the ambulance arrived. The dog had become very unhappy before Michael fell from the roof, and he was acting the same way now. Now concerned, she might have made a disastrous error. When she arrived at the hospital, she saw Zeus running into the structure. She got into her car and followed the dog there. The dog swiftly followed his nose and discovered the room as Michael was. When the dog entered the hospital room, a doctor prepared to give his owners a lethal injection. The dog swiftly jumped on the doctor knocking him to the ground and forcing him to drop the deadly injection. Just as someone was about to try and remove the dog though, they all heard the sound that made them all freeze, and the doctor started to cry in horror for aid in getting rid of the dog. Michael's heart monitor started to accelerate, and everyone was too horrified to react when they heard a calm, raspy voice ask them to leave the dog alone. Zeus shifted his position away from the physician to Michael's bed. When Michael's wife entered the room, she noticed that her husband had finally awakened, with his tail wagging the entire time. Once the initial shock subsided, the doctor swiftly rose and checked the man over to see if he was okay. She was overtaken with delight and started crying, saying that it was a miracle that he was back. After a few weeks, Michael was finally allowed to leave the hospital and return home. And in the meantime, Michael's wife called her kids to share the joyful news. However, when he arrived, Zeus was the first to welcome him, leaping up and showering him with kisses. Michael laughed before sobbing on the ground. This anecdote only shows that sometimes all we need to do is listen to our dogs, as they know what's best for us. He gave his dog a tremendous embrace and affection, because he realized he would no longer be around if it weren't for his canine.